Hello and welcome to a recap of today's open source live code hangout. Today, I've been working on a relatively new project, it's actually brand new, called Open Learning Quest. My friend Harry and I have been chatting. Well, we both live in the same town and have kids around the same age and hang out quite often. And we're both interested in educational, educational games, you could say, educational gaming as well as personal learning, self-motivated learning, a lot of different topics. And we've started a, a project, an initiative called Open Learning Quest with the grand ambition of making an educational game. In the process of making the game though, we're learning everything about game development, like all the, not everything there's to know, but it, uh, everything we're doing, we have to learn. <laughs> we don't know any of this, so everything is learning is new to us, which is pretty cool. And I guess that's how, how things are in general. You're always learning and not, you know, hopefully always growing a little bit, but in the process of making a bigger game, we might start by making some small games that demonstrate certain features or game mechanics and teach certain concepts. The whole idea of open learning quests is it should be educational and engaging. But in order to make many games, we might meet, need to make some smaller experiments just with the basic primitive building blocks, like how a game mechanic would even work before we tie it into other um, contexts like rewards and levels or whatever the that you would consider a mini game. So we have essentially three layers at which we'll work, starting with experiments, making mini games and crafting a more full-fledged indie game. We don't have ambitions of being AAA game studio or anything, um, but we do want to make something that's engaging and entertaining in an indie game fashion. And we might start off with a 2D role-playing type game, hence the name Open Learning Quest. We're committed to working openly to produce an open source game as well as open educational resources. Harry and I have been meeting for a few weeks to discuss the whole idea and put the building blocks in place and come to an agreement about how we'd like to work and what our goals are. So today, after meeting with Harry this morning, I came home and I'm putting together uh, our working environment. We're going to collaborate on GitHub and we're going to work in a way that's open and accessible and welcoming to other contributors. And to support and to keep things open and accessible, we have agreed on using copyleft licensing. So I've opened pull requests in two projects, the mini games, and the game repository. And I'll probably open the same in the experiment. But both of these essentially add the same boilerplate text to our readme. We're gonna, we agreed to use the Creative Commons attribution share alike license and version 4.0 or later, the version 3.0 had some unfortunate um, holes in there that were uh, have been fixed in the 4.0 version. And for the source code, we agreed also to use a copyleft license. And we had previously talked about the GNU general public license and agreed to use that for our experiments repository. But given the nature of these games, that there might be client and server component. I, I took the sort of initiative and added a GNU Afro general public license to the mini games and game repository. And in order to not, which has uh, protections for server side software, it, it includes that as under the umbrella of distributing software if you serve it from a cloud connected computer. And in order to not be so unilateral with this change, it's a bit of a change, and to get in the habit of 
developing software collaboratively, I opened these as pull requests and asked that Harry would review these changes. And we'll talk more. Uh, I'll talk more with Harry about what that looks like. But essentially, this is just the way we work with software development. You know, peer review is also common in the academic um, area where Har Harry's background is in academics and mine is in software development. So that's it in a nutshell. We're starting this new project. Um, we're going to use the good old game engine, to the best of my knowledge. And we've talked about that. And in the meantime, we're both studying game development with Godot. We're going to orient our development towards 2D games that have an educational focus, but also will be hopefully engaging so that the uh, learner, the player is drawn into the game instead of being kind of pushed, they, they, they naturally want to pull themselves into the game environment. And we've sort of had some initial discussions about the art direction as well. But we're going to start taking these discussions to GitHub so that everybody can participate and see what we're thinking about and get involved and bring your own ideas. So if you'd like to get involved with this or similar projects, you can stop by github.com slash open learning quest. If you're interested in game design, game development, or educational games, or just even playing the games as a play tester, we welcome your participation and feedback. You'll have to stop into one of the projects in order to participate in the discussion. If you've got an idea for a mini game, naturally you would stop here, go to the discussion and share your idea. We might then take the ideas and group them together and say, hey, what, which one should we work on next as a poll? Or you can ask questions as well and show and tell your own work. So again, uh, everybody is welcome and we will be working to include and affirm all types of contributions, not just coding. You don't have to be a coder to participate in this project. All right. Well, this has been a brief update to a new initiative we're kicking off and another open source live code hangout. I hope you're doing all right and I'll see you